we are definitely in the danger zone right now. If we don't come up with food some way, somehow, we're going to die. All right, welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to continue uh, surviving here. Uh, so let's see, do we, I think what we want to do, uh, our main goal for this episode is to see if we can go hit that derelict wreck, which is on the other side of that mountain-ish. But um, we have two more seeds here now, and I would like to get two more veggie tubes going uh, to keep that oxygen uh, production happening for us. Okay, so that means that um, we're going to need more power. First of all, uh, so let's just grab these two pieces of iron. Oh shit, we're about ready to die <laughs> from food. Okay. Yeah, food's gonna be a big, big deal for us guys. Um, all right. We only have two space food left. Um, yeah, let's put two more turbines down and then we'll put two more veggie tubes down and then we will make preparations to take off and go do that derelict vessel. Um, in this blue crate over here, did we grab, I don't think we grabbed everything out of this. We didn't. Okay. That cloth's going to come in handy later. Uh, let's deconstruct that for another piece of iron. And then um, we're, we're going to check that place out over there, too, at some point fairly soon. Maybe not in this episode, but we will take a look-see over there. All right. Let's loot our way back with iron being our primary um, item to grab. Yeah, we better get moving here so we don't run out of O2. I could, I thought about maybe putting the door on the back side too, but I don't know if we're going to have room to do that without expanding more, um, <clears throat> which we may or may not do just depending upon our, um, you know, how things go with our progression here. Okay, so we need ice. There's an ice there. Uh, we can put the cobalt and the magnesium in there. And there's an ice there. Okay. Oh, I guess we need the magnesium as well. Then we'll pull that back out. Oh, I got another food here. Okay, good. Um, no, I don't. Never mind. That's the one we just pulled out. Okay. Uh, put a titanium. Grab another ice. So we're going to put this one here and this one, uh, another magnesium. That one we're going to have to hold out just a little bit. But, you know, once we get our food situation under control, you know, then we'll have a little bit of breathing space and then, then things won't be so touch and go. But until that happens, um, yeah, things are going to be touch and go. <laughs> okay, it wants us to, this is kind of weird. The game wants us to <coughs> craft a progress screen, but it hasn't unlocked it yet for us. So uh, when it does, though, we'll put that over here. It's another big screen, and it basically tells us how close we are to the next terraformation um, levels. Because right now we're at the barren level, and blue sky will be the, the next level. So it's kind of cool how it works. Okay, let's see here. Um, what we want to do now is we want to... Oh, did we... We got a... Um, didn't we get a tier 2 backpack? Maybe we... Or did we already make the tier 2? We didn't. Okay, let's make that first. Um, which we can right now. Cool. Okay, so that added another row to our inventory, uh, which is going to be fantastic. Uh, now, what we want to do is... When you travel in this game, in the very early game, essentially what you have to do is you have to make yourself um, little way stations of oxygen uh, to get from point A to point B. Um, so to do that, we're going to want um, 
Let's see. Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure we have two extra oxygens and two extra waters with us for the trip. Okay, so we have two waters, we have two oxygens. We don't need to take the cloth with us. Hopefully we'll find some more cloth. Um, I think, <coughs> excuse me, I think we're going to, hmm, what should we do about the food? Well, hopefully we'll find more food there. Um, so we'll probably, we'll probably take both of the foods too. We're going to want some, some titanium, silicon, and iron for the trip. Um, I'm just trying to think if we can get over there with, with one hop. We should, we should plan for two hops just in case. Uh, in other words, two, two way stations that we might have to make. And so that means we need, um, one, uh, let's see, we need three iron, two tight. We just got a window. Okay. That doesn't matter right now. It'll matter later. Uh, back to this. Okay, so we need two irons, three irons, two tight, three irons, two titaniums, and one silicon per thing. So we need six iron, four titanium, two silicon. Four titanium, two silicon. So we just need to grab four more iron to make two stations along the way. And we're going to have to pick that up as we travel. All right, let's also I don't have any more ice in here. I'm going to top off our water and still take two additional waters with us. And I we're, let's just go ahead and take the space one of the space foods now. Okay, let's go. So we need to pick up some more iron along the way, but we're going to go through this valley and then on the other side of that valley, not too far on the other side of the valley, is the derelict ship. There's some iron here. Not seeing any iron here, here's some. That was just on the ground. That didn't come from the meteorite. Beautiful. Okay, do we have a total of six iron? Yes, we do. Okay, we have everything we need to make two way, way stations. Oxygen stations. So we're just going to move through here. Um, we'll continue to... We'll pick up a little more iron along the way. So when our O2 gets down to about, well, probably should start thinking about making the, making it now. Yeah, let's just get right up to, whoa, little load in or something going on there. Okay. Let's put that down. Let's put that down. And there we go. Little way station here. Okay. We'll fill up our O2. We're going to leave this here and... We have enough to make another station along the way, so let's keep moving. We'll, we'll go explore over there at some point. Uh, but right now we want to make it to this derelict ship. Oh, good. We got the solar panels. Okay. That's fantastic. There's the ship way over there. Um, once we get there, then we're going to want to put another station down right in front of it because, and then we'll, then we'll have to build some storage because what we'll do is we'll go into the ship, loot it, bring the loot out, put it in the storage, go back in, loot it some more there because we're not gonna be able to get all of the loot in just one pass. Yeah, this is going to be kind of cutting it close, but I think we can make it work.
All right, let's build the structure here. Perfect, okay. Now, here we want to, like I said, we want to put in a bunch of storage. Um, and we'll just kind of line that all up against the back wall. And this is all temporary, because once we're done with this ship, we can take all this back down and reclaim all the resources. I don't know how many of these we're actually going to need. Well, you know what? Actually, yeah, let's start with that, and then uh, I also want to make a crafting station here, so if we need to make some O2 or something like that, we can. So we need iron and silicon for that. Okay, we'll put this here. Very good. All right. Yeah, we'll start with, um, well, did I get another iron? Yeah. We'll start with this many, and then if we need more, we need more. All right, so let's see. We got two waters. We got two O2s. I think what I'm going to do is let's store the water in, that one of the waters in here. Um, I'm going to take this now to free up the slot and that buys us quite a bit more time on food but that's it ladies and gentlemen unless we find some more food in here we are out of food Whew. okay let's do this so yeah if you go into these ships once you get in it's almost pitch black so that's why you gotta have a flashlight um okay so that's the, how we came in let's go see what's over here first okay here we go ah shit okay no no food that's unfortunate. Hopefully we will find some, you know, some more seeds in here, food especially, and um, some more chips too. Okay, let's go, let's go left first. You can deconstruct these, uh, you know, beams and stuff that's in the way and you get iron for it. Uh, so it's worth doing. Okay, here's another chest. Okay, we got more seeds and cloth. That's good. And water, too. Uh, but no, f unfortunately, no food. But that's okay. More seeds are good as well. Ultimately, um, that's going to help us out. Okay, so let's put all of this stuff in here. Keep water and we'll keep two oxygens with us just in case we get stuck way down in the bowels of this ship. Okay, let's move down into here some more. Um, we'll finish looting this, and then we'll deconstruct the crate for the iron. Uh, this we can deconstruct. And this cannot be de- uh, Yeah, we can deconstruct that. Okay, I don't see anything else in this section that we can loot or deconstruct. Uh, how are we doing on our O2? Oh, we can deconstruct this still. So. Alright, let's pop up these stairs really quick and see what's up here. And then we're going to run back and replenish our O2. Okay, there's a room with a chest. Ooh, a super alloy and more seeds. Ooh, Pastera seeds. Those are even better. These do 200% multiplier. Okay. That was worth the price of admission. Okay. Anything else up here? Yeah. We did. Okay. We're going to have to take an, an O2 bottle, but that's okay. That's why we have them. More Pastera seeds. Oh, even better, you guys. This is amazing. Uh, okay. We'll have to come back up here and get the rest of that stuff. Um, let's go ahead and pop one of these now. And we'll go back out, drop this stuff off, come back up here, get the rest of the stuff in that crate, and then deconstruct the case. So yeah, this game is very reminiscent of Subnautica in a lot of ways. Um, especially when you start going through these wrecks and things. Uh, keep that and that. Let's grab... Let's, let's do another... 
oxygen tank. I want to have two with me, like I said, at all times while we're inside of the vessel. Definitely want to err on the side of caution. Um, let's also grab one of those because we'll probably have to drink while we're in the ship. I know it takes up an inventory slot, but it's just in it's just wise to do because it's so easy especially for me because I get sidetracked super easy <laughs> um, you know so easy to to lose track now these little um, server rack thingies we can take apart but we need a, a tier 2 construction tool for that um, and we can't get through that door right now either so that means we we will be coming back to this ship at some point in the future when we have better stuff See, it looks like there's a uh, some way, you know, so a way in there too to do some things. Okay, so that takes care of this. Let's go uh, into this room here, and we got a chest here. More pestera seed and some uranium. Nice. Okay, that's all good stuff. Not exactly what we need right at the moment, but we'll take it because we are gonna need it later. Go back out, refresh, come back in. Wash, rinse, repeat. And we're back. Okay. Um, let's uh let's take this now and then move back on in here. We already went back that way, right? Okay, so I think we're doing this room now. We had checked this and deconstruct it deconstruct that yeah we're gonna we're gonna get a lot of iron in here if nothing else so that alone is a good deal don't see anything else in the, the room so let's go up these stairs and we have another open room over here okay well the aluminum's good And is there anything? No, it's not letting me open that locker, so I guess there's nothing in there. I don't know. I think that's it for up here. Alrighty then. Let's head on back down. Before we go uh, deeper into the bowels of this vessel, uh, let's go do a recharge and we'll drop all that stuff off in there yeah see we're gonna need yet another storage crate which is a nice problem to have for sure um, let's put can I fit one more in there no okay so We'll do this right there. Okay, we're good. Let's go. Okay, so we've done those two side rooms. Now let's go deeper in this way. We've got a thingy to deconstruct here. And... Alright, we can't get past these servers until we get the Tier 2 tool. What do we got over going on over here? Oh, look, this is going to be a a chip. Beautiful. Okay. One of the things the chips will get us early on is the ability to have what are, what are called um nice collection of ore. Goodness gracious. Um agility boots which will basically let us move faster. Um okay, let's go back out and refresh and then we'll we'll take one more one last look in here and then I think we're done you know as far as we can get until we get the tier 2 multi-tool thingy okay one last pass if nothing else we can we should be able to take that locker apart for some iron That 
should yeah they gave us three pieces of iron that's beautiful okay um none of that can be deconstructed right uh -uh. is there anything back here we can't deconstruct the this without the tier two yeah okay i think that's it i think we're done with this ship for now that was that was a pretty good run um we didn't find any food but what we did find are the the 200 percent oxygen producing plants so that was huge uh, all by itself for sure okay um so since we are going to be coming back to this vessel in the future i'm going to leave this shack and everything here uh, but the stuff itself, of course, we need to get back to the base. So it's going to take me multiple trips to do. We want the pest, uh, Pestera seeds. That, that's We'll take the super alloy. That's a high-end thingy. We just learned indoor ladder. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm going to take it all back, so it sort of kind of doesn't matter. Uh, but what we could do, though, is see if we can get those agility boots so we can just move faster. At this point, I'd say kind of doesn't matter what we take. Let's take the extra water. Um, let's take the aluminum, the iridium, so we can make another heater. The uranium we'll take, and... Uh, uh, Maybe another iridium. Okay. Um, I think we're good to set out. Let's head on back to the base. So at this point, guys, this is pretty much just going to be me moving back and forth uh, to bring all of our loot back. Um, but once that is finished... No, actually, you know what I think we're going to do... I think we're just going to bring this first load back and then we need to uh, we need to change out the pestera seeds and make and makes even more um, veggie tubes which also means we need to make solar uh, some solar panels too to support them because uh, here again we, we're we are definitely in the danger zone right now if we don't come up with food some way somehow we're going to die. That's just all there is to it. And if that happens, it happens, you know. The, the goal here is to do everything we possibly can to survive. But if we if the game just decides to kill us because it's not giving us what we need, then we deal. <laughs> we die, we res, and we just keep going until we get to the point where we can sustain ourselves. That's, that's the name of the game here. Okay, let's replant our oxygen. And then we'll head back to the base. And our first order of business again is to change out the seeds for the better plants. And then we'll start making some solar panels because we'll need those to make more veggie tubes. I'm going to take one of these now so we can pick up another piece of iron. Um... Do I have another, I wonder if, if I have two of those chips. Yes, I do. Okay, that's fantastic. All right, so first thing is, do I have, yeah, let's, uh, let's actually make another storage. And I want to just throw you guys in here for a, the moment. And we're going to switch out. Well, here, let's switch out these first. Well, we're going to switch them all out. Oh, yeah, see, these do 200%. Just amazing that we found those. Okay, that's going to help hugely. Uh, how are we doing on our oxygen? Okay, we're at 1.18. we got to get to 12. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna take a while, but you know when we start making the tier two version of these, then it then it increases exponentially. So that's the good thing. 
All right, let's put those back. Let's grab both of these and go to our blueprint screen. And this is how what we do with these chips. We decode them. And it gives us, the first one gives us a T1 mining speed increase. The second one, I think, is the agility boots. Yes, that's exactly what we wanted. Okay, so this is going to allow us to move 15% faster. So we need two aluminum and two cloth. Um... We have cloth back at the place. You know what? I, I, I completely forgot that we needed that, but if I would have remembered, I would have brought two cloth. But I didn't, so, you know, it is what it is, right? Uh, okay, so... Uh, I think... Let's let's go back... Ah, shit, we're, we're going we're gonna to die from food, man. That sucks. Okay, here's, here's what we're going to do. We're going to... Um, Let's put the water and the O2 in there because we're, we're going to die before we need more water. Um, so I'm, I'm breaking the rule in this particular instance about not carrying water with us because it's just inevitable. Uh, we will take an oxygen capsule. Let's go get another load and uh, in particular we want to get the cloth so then we can make those agility boots because the 15% movement increase is pretty significant. It's just going to help us. You know, it's going to make things better for us. That's all there is to it. All right, let's head back over there. Oh, look at that. We just learned VeggieTube Tier 2. Amazing. So when we get back, we're going to replace all the Tier 1s with Tier 2s, but we're also going to need to make solar panels to support them because they're going to use a lot more power. But that's pretty much how this game works. Replen the O2. And we don't have... Yeah, we have this in our inventory. We're going to lose it, though. Unfortunately, because our game settings wipe out everything in our inventory. I could... I could... I guess I could dump the inventory out, but I don't know. That kind of... That, that kind of feels like a cheese move to us. I mean, if we put the game settings on to delete our inventory when we die, we need to... You know, we made that bed, so we need to sleep in it, so to speak. As much as it's going to suck. There's a very, very slim chance we could make it to the shed and drop this O2 tank off before we die. Um, probably ain't going to happen, though. But, you know, we can make another one with two cobalt, so it's not a huge loss, but it is a loss. Okay. The other thing that's going to suck about this is that it's going to respawn us back here. Um, so now we've got to walk all the way back over there again. <laughs> it repops you back where you uh, where you were. I suppose I could have maybe saved right before we died too. I didn't think about that. Okay. Well, anyway, onward. So so from this point forward until. We either find more space food or get to the point where we can start growing food. Um, which is another thing that just occurred to me. I, have, I don't think we've even found any seeds. That's a problem. I mean, seeds for food. We found the seeds for the oxygen. Hmm. Yeah, that, that is an interesting issue. It just occurred to me. Um, well, okay, good. We've got a tier three backpack. The... Um, Okay, well, here, this is what I was going to say. Moving forward, until we get to the point where we can get our food situation under control, every time we die, we're going to respawn with about 25% of our health. And then we just move forward to do what we need to do until that runs out. We die, we respawn with 25% of our health, move forward, do what we need to do, we die. And we just kind of go through that little loop uh, because there's just no other way we can do it. It, it all depends upon what the game decides to give you, and the game did not give us what we needed, uh, which really sucks, but, you know, what the hell can you do about it? I, I am very concerned, though, that we haven't found any food plant seeds. Uh, that hadn't even occurred to me until just now. So, yeah, super concerned about that. Because all of these seeds that we have here are just, um, you know, they're for oxygen. Okay, so at this point, I'm just going to pretty much grab iron and let's head back. 
Now we need to be very careful. We, we need to time things so that our inventory is empty right before we bite the dust. Um, so yeah, so we just have to, you know, we have to be cognizant of that. And I think we have, I don't know, maybe a 10 minute window perhaps in between our death loops. I haven't actually timed it, but I think that's probably going to be about what it's going to be. Um, yeah, so it's going to be a struggle, guys. It's going to be a major struggle, but the only other option we have is is quit and start over and see if we get better stuff. But I don't really feel in, inclined to do that because that's going to get old and it's, it's going to stop being fun. And then I'm going to quit playing this game and go do something else. And we don't want that to happen. We want to play this game all the way to the end. So if we have to go through some death loops in the early part of the game to make that happen, then we have to. Um, or the other option, I suppose, is we start over and we don't play on, um, we don't play on intense, but, you know, what's the point in having that game mode if it's impossible to do, you know? So, I don't know. I, I think, you know, we made the commitment to play on intense, so we're just going to keep that setting regardless. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about all that, though. You know, there's probably going to be a couple of you that thinks, what's the point if you keep dying? But I don't agree with that. Um, you die in video games, you know? The only time that matters is if you explicitly say this is a permadeath series. Um, and I did not say that, nor did I intend for it to be that. Um, so, anyway, yeah. It's just kind of the way the game is. If... if the game would have given us more space food you know if we would have found it in loot um and especially if we would have been able to find some food seeds we might have been able to make it happen before we died but you can see how hard this is i mean it's incredibly difficult on these settings so it's almost impossible, uh, at least in this area. We might have been able to make it happen in the starter area just because there's a lot more resources and wrecks and stuff in that area. But here, yeah, probably not. Okay, anyway, um, let's, uh, let's put some of this stuff in here. And we want to make those 15% movement boots. So we need two aluminums for that. And... Boom. There we go. See, it says 15% uh, movement. Put those on, and now we can move 15% faster. That's awesome. fan freaking tastic man. Uh, okay, so let's see. What is the next thing we should be thinking about? We should be doing power and oxygen. That's really what matters. We can get a little bit behind on heat and pressure, you know, drills and heaters. We can catch up with that stuff later. It's the oxygen that matters the most. Um, so with that being said, let's go ahead and, oh, we got another chip. Let's do this. What is this going to give us? T2 mining speed. 20% uh, mining time reduction. Okay. We'll do that. I don't know that that's super, super critical for us to worry about right at the moment. What I think we need to do is get the tier two versions of the of veggie tubes up and the power to support it. That's what we're going to work on next. Let's put the cloth in there. Um, and oh, what are we what are we dying of? Thirst. Okay, we can that we can control. That we can control. There's the tier two heater. Nice. Okay, we'll worry about that later though. Like I said, uh, let's get our requisite water and oxygen back in our inventory. Um, okay, so what do we need to make this? We need iron, two cobalts, and a silicon. Okay, two silicon, or two cobalts, a silicon, and an iron. There we go. Um, let's make two of these. To start with, but we're going to need, I'm sure we're going to need more than that. And we'll line up our, we'll start lining up our solar panels um, right here. I don't think the game cares, you know, if it's pointing towards the sun. In fact, I can't really see the sun anyways. It's all obscured behind the, the smog there. Okay. 
these we can actually set a little closer together too. I don't want them clipping, but that's good. All right. So these output 6.5 kilowatts of energy versus 1.2. Uh, shit. Okay. I forgot to empty my inventory before we died, so we pay the price by losing a water bottle and an O2, which really sucks. Uh, gotta pay attention to that shit, man. We're gonna have to deal with that for a long time, which sucks, but <laughs> what can you do, right? Uh, okay, we need an ice and two cobalts to remake those. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. I wonder, though, I wonder how wise it actually is for us to keep an O2 and a water in our inventory now that we're going to be dying every 10 minutes. Man, let's just do it. But I'll, I'll try and remember to offload those into a crate right before we die, you know, if we catch it, which I'm not always going to do. It's just the way things go. Okay, so we got those two. Now, what do we need for uh, the tier two veggie tube? Iron, ice, magnesium, and silicon. Let's go grab a bunch of ice. So, we're going to leave the T1 tubes in place. But we're going to start putting the tier uh, 2 tubes down. Here, let's, um, let's put that one there. Can I make two of those? I need one more thing of iron. Okay. This might tank our power. It doesn't. Okay. So these use 1.5 kilowatts of power. Um, we still have... Oh, we have quite a bit available, actually. So those don't use quite as much power as I thought. Okay, let's grab... Um, let's grab our Shanga seeds. We're going to pull out the Pesteras and put those in the better um, oxygen thingies. Okay. And let's just keep making these and keep making power until we get every single one of them going with the seeds that we have. So more iron, ice, and uh, whatchamacallit. Let's grab two irons, two magnesiums, and now we need four ice. Okay, let's go get more ice. One thing that's going to happen is we're going to have to go further and further afield to get the ice. But, um, you know, it is what it is, right? Grab that titanium. Let's take a peek over here. I do, yeah, I've got the one oxygen bottle. See what's going on over in this area. It's kind of interesting looking. Oh, wow, there's like little sparkly things in the sky. That's trippy. Whoa, this is weird, man. Check this place out. Magnesium. Food level critical. Okay. Yeah, we, we, we need to go. Silicon. Oh, there's aluminum here. Oh, that's good to know. That's really good to know. All right. I think this is going to be our last um, significant um, tri uh, trip away from the base because we're getting close to where we're going to die from food again. Might as well fill up our inventory on the way back. Uh, we'll take another silicon. All 
All right, well, that's good to know that we can find aluminum in that biome. Really good to know. All right, let's see. Um, let's create the next one of these. And again, we'll switch out a Pestera seed. Do we have any more Shanga seeds? Nope, everything else is Lima's. Okay. Very good. All right, can we make another one? We need one more piece of ice. Um... I think I think we're getting too close to risk it for the biscuit uh, to to dying. So um, let's get another storage chest down here, and we're gonna drop all that off in there, including our water, because again we're gonna bite the dust here in a second. Um, if I can, yeah, I don't think I have time to do anything. We're just gonna have to lay down and die. As much as that sucks, man, can't do anything about it. Okay, let's just wait to die. And then we'll have another 10 minutes or so to keep on keeping on here. And we're back. Okay. Let's get our water. And do we have... Let's make another O2. Um... Yeah, those are Lirma seeds. Let's put all of our seeds in one place just so I don't have to keep looking for him. Um, all right. We needed ice. What do we need to make this? Yeah, we need another ice, a mag, and a silicon. Let's go get some ice. We'll go out this way. There's a piece over there. We have two more cobalts to make up for the ones we just used. Let's grab the silicon. Yeah, I know. I know it's low. Um, this ice. We have one more slot. Let's grab a titanium. There we go. Okay. Once again, we will switch out a Lerma for a Pastera. Okay. Um, how are we doing? 4.2 PPT. We got to get up to 12 to get our food thingy. All right. Well, I think, guys, we're going to wrap up the episode here. And um, in the next episode, the plan... Uh, will be to just keep putting uh, T2 veggie tubes down um, until we have every veggie tube running. Here, let's see. We have basically, I'm going to put three more down, right? Um, so we have all of our plants in a veggie tube. I might even replace these with tier twos as well. Um, it probably would be worthwhile because these put out. 1.9 PPQ. These put out 0.18. Um, so we're really, you know, we're kind of wasting our our ability to produce O2 by having any plant, even the 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 Lermas in these T1s when we can put them in T2s. So I think that's our immediate goal, uh, just to keep that oxygen cranking so we can get that up to 12, so we can get the food thingies going. Uh, but we are also going to have to keep exploring, finding more blue crates go even further afield you know to look for a wreck because until we can get food seeds we're still really kind of screwed <laughs> that's just what the game you know that was the roll of the dice so we'll keep trying and we'll see what you know we'll see how far we can take this so with that being said let's save the game and uh, we'll exit out and i'll see you guys in the next episode thanks for watching if you guys enjoyed please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video we'll catch you next time Bye bye